guys, uh, back for another unboxing, oddly. Uh, who knew? Uh, funds are a little tight. But uh, I did go to FYE, and uh, I'm a member there, so I get 10% off of whatever prices I can find. And oh, you know, I had to go to the mall anyway. Kids are doing back-to-school back shopping, so we're getting some stuff for them. And uh, so my, while my wife had the kids there, I thought I'd check out FYE. I had one of the boys with me. Um, lo and behold, I found a deal. And when I find a deal, I buy it, uh, uh, if it's that good of a deal. And this one was. This one really was a good deal. Big fan of the movie. Uh, always have been. This is a deluxe edition, limited edition, although um, I'm, I'm not sure how, well, 100,000 copies. So, uh, But the price I got it for was really good. <clears throat> I'll, I'll get a, let me see. I'll find the receipt here in the bag. I think they shoved it down in there, which they really should hand it to me, but I think they put it down in the bag. Let's see here. Da, 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 da. Yeah, let's see here. Yeah, I'll show you the price I paid. You won't believe it. Uh, after I show you what it is, of course. Okay. I, I think they might have rang it up wrong. But either way, it was a good. I would have paid the price they asked for it. It ended up being about five bucks less than that. So, first of all, what, what it is, is Cecil B. DeMille's The Ten Commandments. Wow, sorry about that. Go there. As good as I can do. And I got number 18,251 of 100,000. I don't know what that means. Some people say a lower number is better. I doubt it. Uh, I don't see how it matters. I mean, I, I'd like to have the 100,000th, actually, the last one, or number one. And I think anything in the middle is just in the middle. I guess if it's a, if it's a good number, like you won the lottery with it or something, it'd be fun. But I, I think they're all pretty good. I don't think they get any worse when they manufacture more, do they? See the price on that? $19.99. Ended up being... Believe it or not, you see that thirteen forty nine, fourteen ninety nine. That I had at a, that I get money off. I get a ten percent discount. So I paid fourteen dollars and thirty cents for this thing, uh, total. Yeah. So anyway, beautiful set. I haven't opened it yet, obviously, but I'm going to. You know, the limited edition things on the inside, right? That's good because I probably leave that on there. Well, let's pop this puppy open here. There's not much more to say about it. It's the Ten Commandments, for God's sake. Cecil B. DeMille, Charlton Heston, Ewell Brenner, uh, Yvonne DiCarlo. Okay, who else is in this thing? Edward G. Robinson. I'm just trying to think of the cast. Vincent Price. Uh, yeah, amazing freaking cast. Amazing set. So here we got it open now. It's kind of cool the way this works. Let's see. Is there something on here that's going to stop me from opening this thing? There appears to be a piece of tape on it here. Yeah. Piece of tape at the bottom holding it all together. So let me let me take that off first, and then I'll show you. This thing opens like this: the, 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 the Red Sea parting, which is probably cool. All right, that's that. Take that off. No, yeah, let's see if we can hold on to that. It's just tape. I can add more tape if I want to later. Is there any tape on the back? No, that was it. All right, so this probably yeah, this slides off. Chuck Heston slides off clear plastic which I like these things and then you've got the I think this is kind of cool how they did this you've got the Red Sea here parting and then this is going to open up somehow I haven't figured that out yet but uh, let's see it's a lenticular set too clearly it opens up just figuring out how it how it is is another story so not something else stopping this that I do not know oh okay I got it Instead of what I thought, I was trying to go this way with it. It goes this way with it. Kind of cool. And there's some sort of a magnet or something holding it together, I think. Oh, wow. All right, this, this is cool. All right, so first of all, you cut uh, a replica of the Ten Commandments. Who knew? And I'm guessing that's uh, in Hebrew. Something in here? Possibly something in here. I don't know. It almost seems like there would be. There is. This might be the discs, which would be pretty cool, actually. Let's see if that's what this is. Wow, that's pretty wild if that's what it is. Flip over for other discs. Flip over for other discs. Oh, I get it. Okay. So this, okay, let's see how I can figure this out here. Okay, here I got it. Oh, I see. So you've got the DVD. Now they stack the discs, which I, you know, I could live without that, but. You've got disc one and disc two, the feature, and then the 1956 feature, the special features. I don't think they can even fit this movie on one disc. This is kind of cool, though. So you've got 
these discs here, and then you've got more discs here. I think this has got a bunch of them. Just one and two, and then let's just flip over for the other disc. What are the other discs? What this is? Something's in this. Hmm. Let's see how I get this out. It's interesting to see how to pop these puppies out of here. I haven't figured it out yet, so let's see. Is that? It says flip over for other discs. Oh, I see. It goes. It opens like that. Gotcha. Uh, the 1923. There's a 1923 on Blu-ray feature, along with special features. So what I'm going to do is take that one. That's going to be my main one. I'm going to put the DVD down at the bottom. Well, you're not really see what I'm doing here, but this opens up this way for the other disc. And then I'm going to put the disc one down here because the chance of me having the using the DVD is probably pretty slim, um, unless I take it somewhere, like you know, somewhere out of town or something. Uh, so I'm going to put the DVD on the bottom, and whatever's here, which way does this one go? Oh, okay, this way. There we go. And this one's got more special features. At least it's like DVD special features, but either way, I'll put the two DVDs down here on the bottom. Yeah. It's good. I like the way they did that. It protects them. So I kind of get that. put these here uh, there was another set there but I didn't care for it because um, it uh, it was loose Sorry about this. I'm messing with, I'm messing with this thing. Uh, but you know, when you first get something, you, you tend to do that. All right, there we go. And then this on top like this. Very good. And then this goes on top like this. And all of it is magnetic. That's pretty cool. There's the Ten Commandments. In case you hadn't seen those before, <clears throat> there'll be a quiz on them later. And what else we got in this set? Uh, there's a book, hardcover book. Let's see if I get a big else out of here. It's you got a letter. I don't know what this is all about. I'm not going to read it all right now, but basically it says for the first time in motion picture history, the entire pictorial content of a souvenir program for a film will be a treasure of the finest color reproductions, and so on and so on and so forth. So that's kind of cool. Then you've got this soft covered book. Ten Commandments. And inside, oh, inside is pretty neat, actually. Uh, it's got some like biblical reprints. Nice art, and then summary of, of different scenes from the movie, as depicted from the Bible. And then it's got, uh, after all that, it's got a cast of characters sorry with Charlton Heston um, Ann Baxter Ewell Brenner you find a Carlo Paget John Derrick or John Derrick was in here should have known that Edward G. Robinson uh, let's see who else who's famous there Vincent Price Dame Judith Anderson John Carradine just a wide variety of uh, people that are fairly familiar. Uh, so that's that. And then it has... Such will be the mill. Talk about him. Some pretty cool artwork about, the, you know, the different the time of Egypt. So that's the soft cover book. Then you've got costume sketches in here. This is a wide variety of just different costume sketches for different people in the movie. Kind of cool. Suitable for framing if you wanted to. Or just to have. It all goes back in there. 
I generally keep this stuff with the set as opposed to doing anything else with it for the most part. So once in a while I'll find something I want to put, I want to frame, but not very often. You've got <clears throat> some other things, including what looks like a telegram. Reminds me a little bit of the uh, Gone with the Wind set. It's not surprising. I guess this seems to be a put both out, so, I believe. So you get a lot of stuff. Here's some sketches. Uh, who did the sketches? Here's a, a menu that they did on the back of. Wow. Check it out. The Martin Lewis Special. Stewed roads, broiled birds, and with woodchucks on rye crisp, whatever that means. Dorothy L'Amour salad, a dollar. This was today's specials in 1953. Well, the Martin Lewis Special, I don't know what that's all about, but it was 33 bucks back in 1953. That's pretty expensive. From the broiler, though, you get a New York cut steak for two seventy-five, lamb chops for two and a quarter. Not not bad. Egg was egg and omelets was a buck. Nice. What else is on here? Director salad salad with diced lettuce, avocado, eggs, fresh crab meat, and lobster mixed with Thousand Island dressing. Sounds good. A buck and a quarter. There it is. That's in there. I don't know what's got to do with anything, but on the back they sketch some things. Maybe they were eating lunch, and that's how they come up with the idea. And there's a telegram here from uh, Adolf Zucker. Congratulations uh, regarding the to Cecil B. DeMille regarding the picture. I like it. Blah, 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 blah. There's something that fell. Let's see if fell. Something fell before you. Ah. Uh. Some sort of a review that somebody did your age group 18 to 30 female she was very moved by it apparently so that's what was in the envelope and last but not least is this hardcover book the ten commandments an epic journey which includes i guess pictures from the making of yeah pictures from the making of the film uh, sketches for the various scenes. Yeah, a lot of pictures, black, some black and white, some color. Right, it's a beautiful Technicolor movie if you've never seen The Ten Commandments. If you haven't seen The Ten Commandments, why not? You really should see it. It's it's that good of a movie. And, and the reason I wanted to get the collector's edition was because I do like this movie a lot. I do already own it on Blu-ray, but I, I think I picked it up for like five bucks or something on sale. So I'll give that away. Uh, perhaps in a contest or something. We'll figure out something with it. Anyway, so that's the. Uh, I like stuff like this, you know, stuff you can look through, and I'll read through all this stuff later on. For right now, I'll just leave it all as it came. We're pretty close to as it came. So, anyway, that is the Ten Commandments, guys, uh, on Blu ray and DVD. In really a unique package, I think. Um, it all goes back in here pretty neatly. Should I figure out how to do it? Like that. And then the discs. Go back in like this. Yeah, that's neat. And then I also have, of course, the uh, regular, the regular movie. But anyway, that's it, guys. The Ten Commandments on Blu-ray and DVD. No digital copy, though, as far as I can see. Uh, but that's okay in a, in a lenticular situation with the slip. Again, it was uh, numbered 18,251 of 100,000. So whatever that means, I guess it's good. Uh, I guess it's not bad. I'm happy with it. I, I like the look of it. Uh, I could have done it with a little bit better case than they had it in, but um, I'm not going to complain because I think it's kind of neat and it's perfect for what this is, you know, for this type of movie. Uh, it actually fits the movie well. I'll figure out how to put this back on. I'll be a happy person. All right, very good. And then that's how it'll sit on the shelf. Probably eventually without the with the thing. I don't know. I don't mind that. That shows you what's in it. All right, guys. That is Cecil B. DeMille's The Ten Commandments. It's going to go somewhere on the shelf. I'll figure out a place for it. And uh, that's it for the unboxing for $14.49 or whatever it was the final price. So if you have an FYE near you, they're pricing it at 
$14.99. Uh, it may say $19.99 on the cover, but mine rang up $14.99. So $14.99 for that kind of a set, pretty good deal. Uh, and that's why I bought it. All right, guys, take care.